Today the Earth Agris Spray Drones. We get a lot of questions about what are the differences between the Agris T50 and the Agris T25. Well, let's start by describing what these drones are. They are both the latest and greatest models from DJI on their spray drone lineup. They are both introduced to the US market in 2024 and they will be available for the 2025 spraying season. The Agris T50 is a 40 liter or 10 and a half gallon model. The Agris T25 is a 20 liter or 5.2 gallon model. And from there, they're actually pretty similar. So size is really the only main difference between these two drones. Everything else is incredibly similar. When we look at the, what similarities we have, the motors on both these drones are exactly the same. On the 25, we just have one motor on each arm. On the 50, we have two. They operate in a coaxial design. So one spins counterclockwise and one spins clockwise. And that's the same on every arm. They just alternate which one does counter, which one does clockwise. On the 25, each arm, as it goes around in circles, this one does counterclockwise, that one does clockwise, and so on and so forth. So this is very similar to like your Mavics, uh, and this is very unique to a DJI's coaxial design. The radar is the same. This radar and that radar, exactly the same. These lights, this camera, the monocular vision system, exactly the same between both drones. The FPV camera is exactly the same. The bottom radar on the back of these drones and the rearward facing radar, exactly the same. The spray system back here, if I turn this thing around, you can see it better. The spray system here, exactly the same between both drones. We have two impeller style pumps going to a flow meter, going to two hoses, going to our back arms here, and going out the bottom to two rotary atomizers. Exactly the same atomizer on the 25 as what you're gonna get on the 50. The only difference here is the atomizers on the 25, if you can see in the video, they actually kind of have a slight tilt backwards versus they are about parallel with the ground on the 50. The reason that they do this on the 25 is to create a wider pattern. So you can see, maybe I can turn this so we can see a bit better. Maybe that's a good angle for you. On the 50, our motors actually slant. So this is the front arm here and they tilt forward, angled forward. The back motors, they actually angle backwards a little bit. And this creates dynamics with the airflow to create drift actually, technically, to create a wider spray pattern using air to create a wider spray pattern by tilting the props outwards. On the 25, the props are pretty much straight uh, horizontal with the ground. And so we actually, actually tilt the rotary atomizer to create that wider spray pattern. DJI's done a lot of testing here to figure out what the best angle is from props to atomizers to create a nice wide even pattern. Okay, what else is the same on these drones? Well, you'll notice the way they fold up is exactly the same. On the 25, arms go in, just like that. Same thing on the 50. Cam locks on the arms and the arms fold in. Just like that. But as we look at the arms, you can see on the 25, these are aluminum right here. And they're not quite as big as diameter as the 50s, which are carbon fiber. 50 uses a big, thick carbon fiber arm. Why do they do this? Well, because we have a lot of weight out here on the end of this arm. So carbon fiber is gonna provide a bit more structural integrity than aluminum is. But we don't need that on the 25 because it's not lifting as much weight. And we don't have one motor out there. ESCs are mounted on the side versus on the bottom of the 25. So do they use the same ESC? The ESC is what controls the motor. The ESC is what tells the motor how fast to spin. And they're mounted on the bottom on the 25. And on the 50, they're mounted on the sides. Obviously, this is just because we have top and bottom mounted motors here versus just a top mounted motor here. The scales 
are the same. So on the 25, you can see we have three scales here, one, two, and three. On the 50, we have three scales here, one, two, and three. So they both do volume by weight, meaning if you have four gallons in this tank, it will tell you you have four gallons on the remote because it knows that through weight sensing. And this works the same with the spreader systems. The spreader systems are the same on both drones. This just has half the tank capacity. On the spreader systems, the 25 is gonna have about a 50 or 60 pound capacity on the spreader tank. The 50 will have about uh, a 100 to 120 pound capacity for cover crop seed or fertilizer. So I think that's about it on the drones as far as what's the same and what's different. And the main thing we're looking at here is volume. Volume is the main difference as far as hardware goes. So let's look at the power system. How do we power these drones? What batteries do we use? And what is our flight time on these drones? So this is a T50 battery. And this is actually a T30 battery. Now you're thinking to yourself, are we talking about the T25? Yes, we are. But at Agri Spray Drones, we actually recommend that you use the T30 battery in the T25. Why do we recommend this? Well, because a T30 battery is actually very similar in capacity to the T50 battery or the DB1560 battery. We have 29,000 milliamps here, we have 30,000 milliamps here with a bit higher voltage on our T50 battery. But because we're not pulling as much power out of a T25 and we're using less weight, we don't need a, all that voltage. We don't need as many milliamps uh, for flight time. What we need is a lighter battery. And so what the T30 does, T30 battery does, is it provides the best of both worlds in a T25. First off, you get a light battery. This battery weighs about six pounds less than this battery does. Not only that, but it's shorter. We've got about a couple inches there. Might not be that big of a deal, but whenever you're lifting this battery in and out of the drone all day long, then you're gonna have a little bit less height to pick that battery up in out of the drone. And the T30 battery actually has about the same flight time in a 25 as a T50 battery does because you're not carrying around that static weight. That's why we use a T30 battery in a T25. The T50 battery obviously is pretty much the only battery that you can use in the T50. But as you can see here, the T50 battery fits in a T25 and it flies just fine with the T50 battery in there. So if you already have a T50 or a T40 and you have T40 batteries or a T30 and you have T30 batteries, a T25 can take advantage of any one or all of those batteries which is really, really nice from a versatility standpoint. Okay, so flight time between both of these drones. The T50 or T T50 is gonna get uh, really about one tank load per battery charge. If you're doing a two gallon per acre rate, then you've got you know, about five acres worth of volume in the tank, and that's gonna be good for one battery. It's gonna get back between 20 and 60% left, and you're gonna swap that every time because you're gonna use at least 40% of that battery typically. With a T25, with either one of these batteries, especially the T30 battery, we can get three tank loads per battery charge. Now we have a half the tank volume here, so only about two and a half acres with a, with a, a two gallon rate. So five gallons, two gallon rate, two and a half acres per tank load. But we can run that usually three times, sometimes even four times because we're only using about 20% of that battery charge on a typical flight with the T30 battery. And that's a really key distinction here is where might both these drones fit, right? If you're looking at either getting a T50 or getting a T25, how do you choose between them? If you're doing high payload, high volume, so three gallon, four gallon, five gallon, 10 gallon per acre or higher, the T50 is the obvious choice because it has a bigger tank, obviously. So if you're doing big fields, big square fields or high volume, T50 is the obvious choice. But if you have a lot of little fields, let's say 10 acres, 20 acre, 30 acre fields, that means you're traveling from one field to the next, to the next, to the next, continuously all day long. And you have to pick this drone up, put it in the back of a truck or put it on the back of a trailer and move to the next field a lot. 
and that's where the T25 is really nice from a transportability standpoint. First off, we have fewer props to manage as we're folding up, fewer props to hit on things in the back of the truck, and it weighs considerably less than the T50 does. We can pick this drone up very easily as compared to the T50, where you've got more props to handle, you've got bigger arms, bigger clamps, and more weight. It's gonna make this drone a little bit more difficult to get up in the back of a truck. Yes, you can still do it. It's just not quite as easy as the T25. Not only that, but what about everything else you have to have? We're talking about chargers, we're talking about batteries, we're talking about a generator, we're talking about all that kind of stuff. The T50 is going to need at least three of these batteries, sometimes four, depending on how you're operating. And you're gonna need a charger, just like this. Perhaps two of them, depending on how you're operating, really, really low rates, you might need two of those chargers, or at least one, and about a 12,000 watt generator. Versus on the T25, you only need two of these batteries. Two T30 batteries with one of these C10,000 chargers that you can run at a lower wattage. Um, so you can run this uh, not at full power, but about three quarter power, meaning you only have to have about a uh, 7,000 or 7,500 watt generator to power it. Smaller generator, one less battery, and a much smaller setup. So if you're moving field to field, everything else besides the drone is also important. This is the drone here for small fields or spot spraying where flight time is important. This is the drone here for big fields and doing large scale application. Of course, there are other differences. Differences we don't have time to go into in this video, but we will be putting these drones to the test and showing you in the field just what we mean when we say small field versus big field, and just what we mean when we, when we talk about the T25 being a king at those small fields. Stay tuned for more, and if you guys have questions about these drones, you wanna see one in the field yourself and get a demo and get connected with one of our dealers, reach out to us and let us know. Thanks.